The 35th Conference of the All India Kisan Sabha or the All India Farmers Union concluded on December 16th. The three-day conference was held in Thrissur, a city in the southernmost state of India, Kerala. The conference elected Ashok Dhabde as president, Vidhu Krishnan as general secretary and P. Krishna Prasad as finance secretary. The AIKS is the largest peasant organization in the country and has been at the forefront of struggles for farmers' rights in India since its inception in 1936. AIKS was also an integral part of the historic farmers' struggle that went on in India for over a year recently in which the farmers ultimately emerged victorious. The slogan for this year's conference was Struggle, Consolidate and Advance for an Alternative. The conference deliberated on the demands of the farmers, including minimum support price for produce, MSPs a safety net given to the farmers to ensure guaranteed minimum prices for their produce. The delegates also discussed ways to defeat the pro-corporate policies of the Bharatiya Janata Party-led central government through united struggles of different farmers' unions across the country. In this uh, 35th National Conference of the All India Kisan Sabha, uh, more than 800 delegates have come from 26 states in the country. Regarding the deliberations of the conference, uh, Comrade Hanan Mullah, as you know, placed the General Secretary's report, uh, which had basically three major parts. One was the whole agrarian crisis, uh, what is the reason for it, etc., uh, going into the analytical part of the situation that farmers are in today. Second was the part about the movement in the last five years. You know, the last conference was held in Hisar in Haryana in October 2017. That is about five years ago. So, in these last five years, the kind of movements that took place, uh, those were there in the second part of the report. And in the third and the last part of the report was a review of the Kisan Sabha organization. So, these were the three major points that we were uh, placing before the delegates. Uh, the last five years have been a very historic period uh, in the history of the peasant movement of India. Uh, a number of movements took place in this time and they were naturally because of the attacks of the Modi government, BJP, RSS government on the farmers and that was resisted very strongly by the farmers of India. And that is why you see a whole range of movements. The Delhi movement of 2020-21 was in a way the culmination of all earlier movements. Uh, it was not just one movement by itself, but right before that, right from 2015, there have been a number of movements all over the country against the land acquisition ordinance which Modi brought uh, all over the country. It was opposed, they had to uh, cancel it. Then there was the huge agitations in Rajasthan and Maharashtra for loan waiver, for MSP, for pension, for Forest Rights Act implementation. That included the Kisan Long March in Maharashtra, Nasik to Mumbai, the Mahapadao Andolan in Rajasthan, the 11-day farmers strike in Maharashtra, all these things. And then, of course, uh, very big demonstrations in Delhi. So, like this, many kind of agitations have taken place in various states, at the center in Delhi, etc. And when these three farm laws were brought, that was like the proverbial last straw on the camel's back. And there the farmers decided that enough is enough. Now we will not tolerate any more attacks from the Modi government. And that is how this whole big agitation started uh, in 26 November 2020. Went on for one year and 15 days blocking the borders of Delhi and spread all over the country. And eventually, the Modi government had to surrender and it had to uh, agree to repeal all the three farm laws which the parliament had passed in September 2020. Such a thing has never happened before in India. Laws passed by parliament being taken back is something unheard of and that the farmers forced the uh, government to do. That was because of the unity of the farmers. Uh, all 500 organizations came together in the Sayukta Kisan Morcha. So, all these things, so therefore, they braved repression, they braved defamation, they braved Corona, all these things. And in spite of that, they won this very, very magnificent battle. So, in this conference, we are seeing that confidence that we can 
make a authoritarian government surrender if we have the unity if we have the strength that is being reflected in the deliberations of this conference as we are having the all india conference in trishur the government is continuing with its uh, attack or intervention in democratic activities of our country we had just on 13th we had an unfortunate incident where the ministry of external affairs denied permission for delegates from trade union international in agriculture uh, who came all the way from france uh, to attend our conference as fraternal delegates we are part of the trade union international in agriculture but the ministry of external affairs did not permit them to attend the conference they were sent back in the same flight and this is not something which has happened only with the all india kisan sabha conference even a similar conference of the trade union the all india trade union congress which is happening an iranian delegation which had come was also sent back in the same manner this is something which across the globe it is against the international law and uh, the uh, restrictions which are being imposed on trade unions uh, uh, in india is something uh, and also democratic activity is something which this all india conference of ours condemns this uh, decision of the uh, union government um, which is totally against the democratic functioning of uh, trade unions of different organizations of the present the all india conference 35th all india conference in the backdrop of the historic struggle and the victory that has been achieved through uh, by building a worker present unity in the coming days is going to um, intensify struggles because many of the Uh, demands that were uh, then accepted by the government they have still not implemented those demands first and foremost a legal guarantee for minimum support price at least 50% more than the cost of the production is something which we have been demanding the government is yet to do anything on that the withdrawal of the electricity act amendments to the electricity act by which uh, the uh, private players would get an opportunity to profit here at the expense of the poor and at the expense of the farmers which will affect the agricultural production in a big way is something which is a, a damocles sword uh, dangling over the head of the farmers of our country that has to be withdrawn so uh, uh, there is the issue of the labor code the selling of our uh, resources um, and the privatization of uh, 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 profit making public sector undertakings there is the issue of unemployment price rise and a host of other issues including the attack on democracy attack on indian constitution the attack on the secular values of our country on all these issues we are uh, moving ahead to build a broad issue based unity in the month of april on 5th of april we would have a million strong protest in a uh, friend of the parliament in delhi where the workers and peasants in a united manner would draw together wider sections of society demanding pro people pro farmer pro worker alternatives